Jared Poland. Frono's photo.com here with a photo of the week. And this week it is a photo that I just took on Friday. Friday. Right. Anyway, uh, of Weezer. This is Rivers Cuomo caught in midair after he jumped uh, at a recent Weezer show at what they call Festival Pier down in Philadelphia. It's down on the waterfront. Um, it's pretty much an open area right on the water. Uh, well, it backs right up to the water, and then there's a stage, and they play lots of music, and they probably get five, 6,000 people in this place, and it's a good place to go see a show. It's a good place to hear a show. Is it a good place to shoot a show? Well, sometimes, if you have your all, if you have all access to go do what you need to do, get on stage, uh, try some different things, then yeah, it's probably going to be a good venue to shoot from, uh, but unfortunately, I was in the pit the whole show. Uh, and limited to only three songs like everybody else because my guy who who was setting things up wasn't there uh, to try to help get on stage and do the behind the scenes type of stuff. But we'll get that right for the next time. Um, so this is the first time I've ever shot Weezer. I've never shot Weezer. And, and from what I've heard is that they just stand around, don't do much. But, you know, from the first note where Rivers Cuomo played, um, I got to say I was really, really surprised how amazing it sounded i was right up against the the subwoofers right up front and i could barely breathe with the amount of like sound that was coming out it was reverberating in my chest making it hard to uh, breathe um but there were probably about 10 to 12 photographers in the pit and a little later on i'm going to go through again a little tip for how to get into shows and 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 basically get a photo credential um it's not the hardest thing in the world these days. I mean, there's so many people trying to get into shows, but, you know, they do let a lot of people in. And in the pit, you see a lot of different things. You see Nikons, you see cannons, you see people shooting with point-and-shoot sometimes, which always boggles the mind how they get in there with point-and-shoot cameras. Um, and you'll see people with anything from Rebels up to, you know, me shooting with a D3S and people with a, a 5D Mark IIs and everything in between. Um so that's a little bit about the situation I was faced with. And the lights you can see here, they were good. There was a spotlight, but Rivers moved over to the left-hand side of the stage, and I'm not sure the spotlight followed him. So what's going on here is when you only have three songs to shoot, it's pretty hard to get a lot of good shots. I mean, I started off with something like this. No, that wasn't the first shot, was it? Yeah, because that's Panic at the Disco. So I started off with something like this. I didn't edit it. I started with the 70 to 200 because the stage is pretty high, and you're pretty you're not the f closest thing to it. And that's what I shot um, to start. And then I knew I wanted to switch to a uh, to a wide angle. And Rivers was walking around stage. He was walking out near the crowd on subwoofers and different speakers. And he came back, and I set myself up right there. Um, well, let me go through the settings here. Oh, don't need to do that. So, settings. 1 400th of a second at f2.8, ISO 5000, 14 millimeter with the 14 to 24 2.8 Nikon with the Nikon D3S. Uh, the reason I bumped up to 5000 is I was playing around between f3.2 and f3.5 and changing my shutter speeds based on the brightness of lights. Because as you can see in the next pictures, the lights got brighter. And even further brighter in here where I was at 320th and I should have been much higher than that. Well, a little bit higher than that just to get, you know, a better exposure. But you can see you can bring it back with the raw file slightly. Uh, but let's let's talk about this image. How did this come about? Well, Rivers just got back up on stage from walking out on the other speakers. Uh, and he was basically singing in front of the mic stand. And I was just locked in on him. I had continuous focus on, uh, but my focus point was right on him. And uh, I was in manual everything. So I was shooting well, in manual everything except for uh, autofocus. I set my shutter speed, set my ISO, set my aperture, uh, just based on the feel of what I thought would work at this show. Um, and then I'm just I'm locked in. And a good tip is not to run around the stage trying to find where the guy's going to be next. Plant yourself in a good spot and prepare yourself to get something right. And I know it's only... You only have three songs most of the time to get this stuff, but I can tell you that nobody else is going to have this shot because nobody was in the spot that I was in. Uh, I was prepared. It happened really fast. He jumped. I knocked off three shots. This was the second one at the top of his, you know, with his knees all the way up. I like it. It froze him in time. You see the Weezer sign in the background, which is great. And that 
is how I captured the shot. It, it happens really quick. You have to be prepared. You have to be looking through the camera. You shouldn't be watching the show. You shouldn't be a fan being like, oh, this is great. Oh, wait, I need to shoot because you missed it. So I was prepared for it, went and switched to the wide angle, composed, waited, you know, something was going to happen. I didn't know. I didn't like, I've never shot them before, so I didn't know this was going to happen. You know, he jumped, knocked off those three shots, and I got it and did the corrections that you can see over here on the right-hand side um, to make this a better image. You know, pumped my exposure up slightly. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it where it, it's pretty close. Should I add some more yellow to it? Oh, yeah, it's about good. So that's good. I mean, I'm going to send this into a few publications to see if they would like to run it. It would be a nice two-page spread if they decide to run it because he's on the left-hand side and there's the W on the right-hand side. So, so really, plant yourself in the right spot or just plant yourself in a spot and prepare for something to happen. So you're ready before the moment happens and then you capture it because you're ready to go. So here, here's the little tip for getting into shows. If you have an affiliation, or even if you don't have an affiliation, start your own blog. Call it a music blog. Call it whatever. If you like to shoot music, then call it your take on music and just start putting up content. The more content you have, uh, the easier it is that when you send a request, these people aren't really going to check a lot of the time. I mean, they check, but they look to see that the site's there. They look to see that you've been, you have a lot of content. They may look at your followers on you, uh, Facebook and Twitter, but you know, sometimes if you have your pictures up there and they speak for themselves and you just email these people, you call the venue, say, uh, who do I need to talk to to get a press credential? And usually within two to three phone calls, you can find the people to talk to for any show, whether it's a big show or a small show. And, you know, have your work on your site. Send these people an email. Hey, I'm looking to photograph this show, first couple songs, or just I'm looking to photograph this show. Here's a link to the blog where it's going. This is my affiliation. It's a music blog. Um, a lot of people look at it, these photos here, you can see all the different sample photos. So you're just saying that. And, and a lot of times they're going to let you in. So, you know, it's pretty easy that way. Or if you have an affiliation through a bigger photo blog, just email them and say, Hey, I'm in town. Uh, this band's coming to town. Would you like me to shoot it for you? Send them some of your work, show them what it looks like. And most likely they're going to say, sure. They're not going to want to pay you most of the time, but maybe it will lead to getting paid because you never know what's going to happen at the show. Uh, so really, an affiliation is the key. Before you email anybody, you can't say you're a freelancer. They will not let you in. If you are shooting for somebody, anybody, they have a better chance of letting you in. It's, even if you're in high school, just say I'm shooting for the Crimson or I'm shooting for the Indian. Whatever the name of your newspaper is, don't call it the high school newspaper. Don't call it the college newspaper. Just say you're shooting for the newspaper or the online edition or whatever it's called. And if they ask any more questions, then you answer it later, but at least you start the ball rolling, and you try to get it in that way. So that's about it. I hope that tip helps. Uh, so that is the photo of the week this week. It's Rivers Cuomo from the band Weezer Jumping, and that is about it. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya!